Hello from Jerusalem. My name is Lauren and I am the Middle East Fellow at Churches for Middle East Peace. The conversation we have had time and time again over the last 13 months is demanding action for the unjust and tragic killing of Shireen Abu Akleh, a Palestinian American journalist who was killed by an IDF bullet while she was wearing a press vest doing her job reporting in Janine last year. Shireen was shot and killed on May 11th of 2022. Since her death, outrage has spread across Palestine, Israel, and internationally as people continue to demand answers from the Israeli government regarding the killing of a journalist doing her job. Last May, Israel stated that it was likely Shireen was killed by a stray bullet from a Palestinian gunman during the Janine raid. However, the UN and several independent human rights organizations have investigated and challenged this claim, stating that Shireen was not in the line of fire and that she was shot by an Israeli bullet. In September, the IDF stated that there was, quote, a high possibility, end quote, that the shot which killed Shireen Abu Akleh was fired by an Israeli soldier, though accidentally. Following this statement, the international community heard nothing more from the Israeli government in 2022. CMEP has continued to demand accountability from the Israeli government with statements in condemnation of Shireen's killing, published articles demanding justice, and an advocacy summit earlier this year wherein justice for Shireen was one of the top issues of concern. This year, on the anniversary of Shireen's death last month, the IDF's chief spokesman apologized for the death of Shireen Abu Akleh, stating, quote, In Israel, we value democracy, and in democracy, we see high value in journalism and free press. We want journalists to feel safe in Israel, especially in wartime, even if they criticize us, end quote. This brief apology came directly after the Committee to Protect Journalists published a report that found, quote, no accountability was taken by Israeli military over its killings of at least 20 journalists over the past two decades, end quote. This apology for Shireen's killing is simply not enough. Justice has not been reached for Shireen Abu Akleh, and we at CMEP are not finished demanding justice nor talking about this case. Existing U.S. law prohibits U.S. military assistance to be used for the gross violation of human rights. The Biden administration must then ensure that U.S. assistance to Israel complies with U.S. code. The State Department must conduct a thorough investigation to determine whether any U.S. assistance or sourced defense articles were used in Shireen's killing and, the, and implement tr tangible consequences if the determination is made that U.S. support has been used in violation of human rights. CMEP calls on House members to support H.R. 3477, the Justice for Shireen Act. We at CMEP are not finished advocating for the U.S. to pursue these paths, nor are we finished talking about this injustice. So join us in advocacy and in educating the wider public about this vast injustice. Also, next month in July, we will be fasting and praying over Shireen and her family. So join us on Zoom and sign up in the link in the description.